Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're over here on Highway 42 in Prospect. Uh, Gustavo's Mexican Restaurant. Uh, it's been highly recommended, and it must be good because they seems like they got new locations opening up about every six months. It started out in LaGrange, got one in Crestwood, Norton Commons, or about ready to open one up on Hurstburn Lane. So we're gonna go in here. Oh, and of course, I got Dad here today, so he's gonna help me critique and let me know what sets them apart from the rest of these. Uh, Mexican restaurants around Louisville, but I suspect it's gonna be good. Let's check right. it out. Before the main courses get here, I'm gonna check out this guacamole and cheese dip. This guacamole looks really fresh, like uh, just made. Mm-hmm. Yep. I can taste the red onion in there, tomato, a little hint of garlic, cilantro. Very good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get a bite of this queso. My mom really loves the queso here. So let me go ahead and give this a try. Mm -mm. Mackenzie, you like your queso? Let me see you take a bite. <laughs> This place has a really cool atmosphere. They got the outdoor patio out there, big bar, and then big, huge dining room. Looks like, and then another big dining room further back. So they could they could handle a large crowd here if you wanted to bring in a big party. All right, Dad. Oh yeah. What'd you get? I got the grilled shrimp and scallops with rice. And it's very, very tasty. Okay, let me see. Take a bite. Thank you. Yeah, what'd you just have? The scallop or the shrimp? Okay, thank you. Scallop. Okay, looks good. Okay, I'm good. Hit the Hamburger right here. Okay. If you've seen any of my previous uh, videos from Mexican restaurants, you know that I'm a big tamale fan. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour on this pre-mixed hot salsa. And this comes with uh, meat, a ground beef, I believe, and a cheese sauce. Let me go ahead and get a bite here. Oh yeah. I'm about ready to start doing that head spin, that, that taste intoxication. That's very good. And I always get it with a little side of rice. And I actually eat the rice and the tamale together in one bite. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little sample of Melissa got the chimichanga. Look at that, just filled with chicken there. Marinated flavored chicken. Go ahead and get a bite of it now. And that, of course, comes with cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. The guac. Mm. Be back in a minute. Give you my closing thoughts, but this is excellent also. Be right, right. back. So, we're done here. Dad, what did you think of the place? Well, I thought it was fine, and it was just great to be out with the family and uh, just getting out and being together. Well, yeah, that's great too in times like this. But yeah. I gotta say my go-to place has always been Fiesta time because it's out by our house and it's always kind of been a step above the rest. Ooh. Well, in my opinion, this is a step above the rest because oh, no. the food's just a little better than Fiesta time, but the atmosphere uh, and uh, everything in here, everything's really nice. You can tell they've put a ton of money in the place with all the decor and everything's really nice. And they got Cinco de Mayo coming up, so keep this place in mind. You got Cinco de Mayo specials. Look here, a gallon of margarita for $45.99. And of course they got the food specials. So, all I can tell you is y'all don't know nothing about this Gustavo's Grill. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.